you are listening to independent tv7 shehu sani reacts after abubakar shekau claims responsibility of kankara school abduction after shehu kau claims responsibility of kankara school abduction this is what shehu sani says and his reaction towards the abduction the Nigerians were awashed with the latest audio messages reported and purportedly to have been released by the factional leader of Boko Haram insurgents, Abubakar Shekau, where he claimed that his group are responsible for the abduction of dozens of students of Government Science Secondary School, Kankara, on Friday. Abubakar Shekau last night released an audio claiming the abduction of the Kankara boys. He said they kidnapped the boys to stop western style education which is forbidden. He spoke in Hausa and Arabic. And the really reason behind it is Boko Haram which means western education is forbidden in the north. Former senator who represented Kaduna Centra in the last national assembly reacted over the audio released by Shekau. Sani raised some vital questions where he said people thought it was the bandits that wreck havoc on the school. According to him, since it is the insurgents that made the abduction, government must do everything possible to ensure they are released before the situation escalates. Sani feared that if the students are not rescued on time, the insurgents may cross them over the border, which will worsen the situation. If the abducted students are with the insurgents and not the bandits, as purported, efforts must be made and be stepped up to ensure that the students are not moved over the border or to the northeast. And now every second should count to, to secure their freedom by any safe means necessary, Shewu Sani said. It should be recalled last on Friday, gunmen stormed. Gankara Government Science Secondary School to kidnap the student to an unknown, unknown destination after the attack and there is no trace was made. BBC reported that one of the students that escaped revealed that two of the abducted students have lost their lives. This is so so disheartening. The president and the chief of staff are really not doing anything concerning this. They are supposed to be sacked and even it has been said that Buhari, which is the president of Nigeria, must resign or he rather face impeachment. According to the Senate House and Representative, they said Buhari should give account of security as he promised when he got into power in 2015. He said in 100 days he will eradicate terrorism in Nigeria and he is not ready to even negotiate with terrorists. Questions have been, been asked all over the nation that if truly the Buhari that said that is still the same Buhari that is still in Asorok, the question is going viral. I would like you to share your comments and I would like you to share your views over this issue. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Independent TV 7. Thank you for listening.